Hello folks, uh, this is the question of 2018, uh, February, March, paper 2-2 two, two. and the question number is 5. The first question uh, number is state, uh, tells us to state course of second law. Uh, this is not my focus here but still uh, the simple statement would be uh, in a closed circuit or a loop of a circuit the sum of EMF and the sum of potential differences should be equal. So that's the second law. Now let me go through the main uh, problem here. So we have uh, two batteries here and here, two batteries. Each of electromotive force uh, EMF 6.0 volt, 6.0 volts, and a negligible inter resistance. No inter resistances here are connected in series with uh, three resistors. So we have three resistors here. One is uh, uh, 4.0 ohm X. So I can write here. Uh, x x equal to 4.0 ohm and the next one is uh, y is equal to 1.5 ohm and the other is a variable as well as unknown also unknown also uh, it's written here the resistance r of the variable resistor is changed until the voltmeter in the circuit so this is the voltmeter reads zero so this is a special case here we vary the resistance in such a way that the voltmeter reads zero so in that case we have to calculate the current i in the circuit i so which is everywhere it is i so i here it is i here it is i here everywhere it's i and then uh, we have to find the resistance so uh, since we have uh, the reading here as zero we can uh, we can we can consider that this circuit is somewhat like this we have cell here, we have resistor here, and we have something here, we have something here where the PD is zero. So we have some item here, I can group this thing as an item where the PD is equal to zero. So what now happens here is, so this thing will resemble like, resemble this. We have the circuit here, we have the cell here actually, cell here, we have uh, some sort of, uh, <coughs> some sort of, uh, resistor x here so this is x and we have something here we have something here uh, through which the pd is equal to this v equal to v equal to zero the x and this is this thing is e so in this part of the circuit so, so in this part of the circuit what we have is what we have is this uh, emf 6 volt is equal to current i into x i into x plus we have this zero volt which is zero so this e is equal to the pd here which is i into x plus this zero volt so this i x is equal to i is to be found out and x equal to uh, 4.0 ohm so this gives us i is equal to 6 by 4 equal to equal to uh, 1.5 amperes so that means the current in the circuit is 1.5 amperes now i have to find this resistance r so now i can consider the uh, whole circuit uh, i can have so in this whole circuit these two emfs support each other or they reinforce each other so that's why the emf here will be total or they add up so this means the total emf will be equal to 6.0 plus 6.0 is equal to is equal to the sum of pds so the, throughout the whole this circuit the current is i which is i we have i then we have the total resistance here so that r will be equal to one is x plus one is y plus one is this r so that's equal to or i can do it as 12 is equal to i is 1.5 so this x is 4.0 plus y is 1.5 plus this r so if i bring it here this becomes 8 8 equal to 4 plus 1.5 is 5.5 plus r which gives us r is equal to r is equal to 8 minus 5.5 is 2.5 ohm so this gives us r is equal to 2.5 Ohm. So here also uh, let me make a correction here because I wrote ampere here which is not necessary at, at all. So this is the answer to these questions. 
Now, in the other question, what it says is, what it says is, uh, the x and y. So these resistors, uh, x and y, are made of uh, same material, which means their resistivity and their other properties. For example, number of free electrons, etc., are same. The diameter of the wire of x is twice the diameter of the wire of y. So I can write it, it as diameter of x equal to equal to twice of diameter of y, which means that the cross section of x should be equal to four times the cross section of y. It is a very obvious thing, so that's why I wrote it previously. So now we have to find the uh, average drift velocity of free losing x and like this. So we have Vx by Vy is equal to. So V is equal to, we have I by Ean. So it will be I by Eax n, uh, Axn by, again, I by Eay into n. So the current here is same because as we have already found out here, this current is same across all the resistors. Uh, we have uh, this uh, electron charge is same, universal constant, and the number of uh, uh, free electrons per meter cube, which is called as uh, free electron density, that's also is same. So we can uh, we can cancel this, 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 this. So it will be it will simply a y by a x. So a y is so a y by a x should be equal to should be equal to 1 by 4 equal to 0 0.25 so the ratio should be equal to 0 0.25 now lastly at the last the resistance r of the variable resistor so previously it was uh, 2.5 ohm now it is increased now it is increased so what it says is still explain the effect of the increase in r on the power transformed by each of the batteries so we have to state its effect of this increase of resistance on the power delivered by these things. So if uh, current increases, so if uh, uh, R increases, if R increases, increases the R total of the circuit, R total increases. Which means that the overall current here, which we did like this, this current decreases so that means i decreases i decreases now what we have is the power given by each of these sources is equal to e into i and e into i it's emf into i is the power delivered by the source so therefore the power the power power delivered delivered by the source by the source which is a p equal to e into i e is the emf and i is the current so since i decreases this thing also decreases also decreases so the power delivered by both of these sources should decrease because current decreases and the emf uh, remains constant